why are cold environments under threat and why do they need protecting? Well, the word to think is that cold environments are very delicate. So uh, any kind of environmental damage tends to have long lasting uh, impacts on cold environments and they generally take quite a long time to recover. So a quick recap, when we talk about cold environments, we're generally talking about uh, the southern and northern poles of the earth. Really uh, cold environments, uh, clusters having temperatures that are at or below zero degrees tel uh, Celsius for long periods of time. An example of a landscape, the tundra landscape is incredibly fragile, a cold environment is incredibly fragile. Uh, as you can see, uh, lots of vegetation in the form of moss and lichens that can take a long time to recover if there's any kind of, uh, any kind of damage, so very delicate. It's about weighing up the economic opportunities with the environmental challenges or uh, the opportunities for conservation. So one example in Alaska, off-road uh, vehicle driving uh, is very popular, but as you can see, it scars the landscape. Uh, there's a lot of environmental damage, and that damage can take up to a decade to recover. Similarly, in Siberia, this is a pipeline that has burst, uh, so the transportation of oil, but this has uh, led to a polluted river. The river's polluted and now lifeless. River edge habitats also get polluted and destroyed, so the damage extends beyond the uh, river itself. There's also the risk of fire and uh, trees dying in the oil spill as well. So why are cold environments important? Well the first is people. So you've got people such as the Inuit in Nunavut in uh, the extreme north of Canada. Uh, scientific research, so linking to the quaternary sector in the UK, uh, the Antarctic survey carrying out scientific research at the South Pole. Also tourism, so thousands of tourists uh, visit Svalbard every year to see the northern lights. So it's important these uh, wilderness areas stay pristine so that they still attract the same amount of tourists. Also animals, so these animals are incredibly vulnerable. Animals like the polar bear that are highly adapted to live in this specialized uh, environment uh, and environmental damage can lead to uh, problems for the ecosystem and the same problem for plants. Again, highly adapted to live in the pristine environment uh, of cold environments or the pristine wilderness area, unlikely to be able to adapt to any change from environmental damage. 